हेलो टिकीज वेलकम टू आवर अनदर वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ यू आई पाथ ऑर्केस्ट्रेटर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू एड डेटा टू क्यू विथ रिफरेंस यूजिंग बल्क एड क्यू आइटम इन यू आई पाथ यू गाइज हेयर करेक्ट नाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू एड डेटा टू क्यू विथ रिफरेंस यूजिंग बल्क एड क्यू आइटम एक्टिविटी एज वी नो दैट गाइज देयर इज अ टू एक्टिविटी टू डू दिस एज यू कैन सी इन as as screen sort guys here is the two activity available add queue item and another one is bulk add queue item let's discuss one by one guys so first one is add queue item so what is add queue item and what is the benefit to use add queue item here add queue item activity using this activity we can add data to queue with reference because there is one property is available in this property to add reference so our another uh, Activity is bulk add queue item. So using this activity, we will create flow and and add data to queue with reference. One more things, guys. Why I am saying uh, bulk add queue item to add data to queue because there is no property available to add reference in this activity. That is why I am saying now it is possible to add data to queue with reference using bulk add queue item activity. After watching this video, guys, you can also create flow like this and use that flow as per your requirement, guys. Let's go to UI path and see how can we do this task. Now I am on UI path studio, guys. For our time saving, I have already created a flow using both activity, guys. As you can see, guys, here I have created both flow using add queue item activity and another one is bulk add queue item activity. Before running this flow, guys, let's open UI Path Orchestrator and see the queue name of this flow. So now I am opening UI Path Orchestrator and now I am on UI Path Orchestrator, guys. As you can see, guys, there are two queue name available here. I have already created for our time saving guide. Here is the name of the queue is transaction queue and another one is transactions queue. So let op let's open one by one and see if there is a value available or not. As you can see, guys, for in first one there are no value available. Let's open second one and see if there is a value available or not. There is no value available also here. So let's go to UI path and run the flow and see. Oh, after the running the flow, you can see, guys, there are value is available on UI path. So guys, I am on UI path studio again, guys. Let's run both the flow one by one and see the result of each flow. Let's run first flow, this one and check how to add data to queue using add queue item activity and see the result on UI path orchestrator and after running the flow I will explain each and everything about this code guys so let's run guys your flow is running completed guys let's open UI path orchestrator guys and see the see there are uh, item available on queue or not guys here uh, is our queue name let's open first and see see guys you can see guys there are a uh, few items are available here and you can also see guys there are a uh, um, uh, reference column you can see guys the reference column has also uh, open uh, UI path studio again guys and run our second flow and see what is the result of that flow so I am connecting this flow to a uh, start nodes and let's see how it will work and how what is the way to add the data with reference using a bulk add item to queue activity guys so guys i am running this flow so our flow is running guys so i think your flow is completed let's open ui path orchestrator and see what is the is there value is available on queue or not here is our queue guys first one let's open and see is there any value is available or not then click on view transaction you can see guys here is uh, some value are available with reference I will already told you guys with reference we can create a flow with add bulk add queue item activity so guys let's go to UI path studio and see the code one by one what actually I have created so let's uh, discuss about our first one 
how to add data to queue using add queue item activity guys here in this activity i am using read range and read this file here guys you can see here is the file i am reading this file after this i am storing uh, this uh, out result in one variable here variable name is dtxl and the variable type is data table and after this i am using for each row in a data table here you can see guys current row dt table i am using that variable uh, before i have created and after this i am using add queue item activity here and you can see the property guys here is the uh, you can here in this property section uh, queue name uh, you have already created the queue and you, you in this field you, you need to put the queue name and after this here you can see guys the reference reference property is there in this property you can use uh, one column to add a reference so that your queue is no adding any duplicate value so there is a uh, there is our code to add data to queue using add queue item activity so let's discuss our second uh, hot topic guys bulk add Q item activity using this. So in this uh, way, I am using just reading uh, read range for previous file. I am using here also. And after this, I have just created one temple build data table. You can see, guys, here is the build data table. I have just created reference column. And after this, and you can see in a property section, guys, temp dt add column. And after this, I what uh, I am doing here, I am extracting cache in value and a store in temp dt and after this a storing uh, this is the code i have also put down this code in a uh, description so that you can get it from description guide and after this i am uh, a storing copy value in reference column here and after this i am using join data table activity and i am opening join data table activity guys see cache in and here is the property guys uh, input data table 1 and input data table 2 after i am merging join this using full method food uh, join method and also i am producing the output data table in dt excel and after this i am using add bulk queue item activity and i am using here i am mentioning dt data table variable and also here i am mentioning queue name as you can see the property guide here there are no any reference properties are available but still bot is adding reference on uipath orchestrator queue guide because why it is adding guide because we are just creating a temp column reference this reference column and we are storing a reference column value and store in a reference variable reference column so that our bot is a store in reference column that value so that is all about our code guys i hope you under, understood this code if you have any question or concern regarding this code guys feel free to ask if you have any question you can just comment you can mention in a your question in a comment section so our team is try to resolve that question guys thank you guys for watching this video